I remember the day that I bought the helicopter. I logged onto LinkedIn, I actually found Jason Hill, and I just wanted to personally thank him. I told him how grateful I was, told him about my eyes, just the journey to get to this point. He actually wrote back. He invited me to fly out to England to meet him, to tour the facility, to really get to see behind the scenes of everything that's going on to make the HX50 work. Usually it's fear that limits us. And so in this situation, I took 20 seconds of insane courage and I bought a ticket and I am flying to England to meet Jason Hill and to continue my journey to the HX50. So I'm on the flight right now. I gotta get some sleep and I will see you in England. I got there, we got a rental car. I've never been to England before in my life. And obviously in the UK, they drive on the other side of the street. The steering wheel is on the other side of the car. And this was a major wake up call for me. Pray for us, Nate. <laughs> There's roundabouts everywhere in the UK. It's like a roundabout, a roundabout, a roundabout, a roundabout. All the other cars, all the other cars. Oh, and here we go, here's another one. Focus. We finally have arrived. We made it to the Premier Inn here in Rugeley, England. And tomorrow is a big day. So we're gonna go get some sleep, get kind of on track time zone wise and get ready for a super epic day tomorrow. All right, good morning. It's day two here in England. We got some really good sleep. I think we've synced up on uh, the time zone change and we're headed out to some really cool castle called Sandon Hall. And we're gonna start the day and meet some really cool people. We got there and it was literally an image from a storybook. Pheasants in the field, bunnies hopping around, and then over the hill is this massive castle. And there's six helicopters One's coming into land, and I'm like, this is probably what heaven will be like for me. <laughs> this is a piece of history right here. You don't see a lot of these. The gazelle, classic tail number, look at that. One of the things that I noticed the most about the community of Hill was the authenticity, the warmness, the kindness, the, the friendship that I instantly received the moment that I walked into that castle. How are you? Hey, how are you? So good to see you. Hey, hey, so this is... I connected with Izzy and we were talking and I said, can you introduce me to Jason? And she said, well, of course, yeah, 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 come on over. And I said, Clint, I'm so glad that you're here. You gave me a hug, we connected. It was just a surreal experience to have a connection with an individual just as genuine and as kind and as humble, as just wonderful as you would hope someone would be. I was so excited, <laughs> so. It's the best thing in the world. I've been doing it for 25 years now, and I still get excited every time. Uh, it never goes away. Yeah, thank you, Jason. Sure. Yeah, it means a lot. No, it's so nice welcome. to meet you, yeah. So, so far, the experience here has been unreal. I've already made a ton of friends, met some incredible pilots, business owners, and people that are just passionate about helicopters to the same level that I am. And so I think when you get a bunch of people, that sense of community uh, that has that common thread with this being the HX50, it's just powerful. It's a group that's full of passion and everybody that wants to fly, wants to share the gift of flight and do good in the world. And it's just, it's been an amazing experience so far. This is absolutely unreal. I had the opportunity to go and actually tour the facilities where they're building the HX50. This was an incredible experience because it's one thing to be able to watch a YouTube video or to get the monthly updates and see the development via online. It's another thing to actually be in the room where it happens, listening to Jason Hill explain it, to be able to, to touch the helicopter, to see what's 
going into the development, the blood, the sweat, the tears, the hours, and the passion behind this project was truly significant. I think one of the coolest parts of the whole facility tour was to meet the backbone behind everything that is taking place. The fabricators, the engineers, the mechanics, the designers, the software engineers. There's so many people that believe in this project and they are equally putting in their time, effort, talent, and trust and hope and passion into making this possible. Just incredible people. There is the monolage of one of the first HX50s. I actually leaned over to Jason and I said, can I sit in it? He said, well, of course you can. Sitting in that monolage was just magical. So we got back to the castle and all of the helicopters are taken off and this one R44 starts spooling up. He pulls up the collective, raises, and I look over to my right shoulder, and I'm sitting right next to Jason Hill, watching this helicopter take off. It was just a very, very cool moment to be with the guy behind it all. You hear the horror stories of when you actually meet your hero. Meeting Jason Hill, one of my heroes, was an incredible experience. Jason said, hey, we were gonna have you come over to the warehouse tomorrow, but actually, I wanna invite you over to the house. I've got my helicopter in the garden, and if the weather's looking good, we'll go flying. Man, I don't think I have smiled that big. I said, absolutely, I said, we're in. I said, he said, okay, well, early in the morning, let's make it happen. This is like completely unreal. Like this moment, the sun setting, helicopters taking off, this beautiful castle, Jason Hill, amazing people. This is it, like this is the dream, and it uh, doesn't get better than this. Unless Kelly and my kids were here. But other than that, yeah. Okay, so we just pulled up to Jason's home. He was kind enough to let us come and visit. And look, there's the helicopter out in the garden. Awesome. Hey, Jason! I showed up to their home and I was invited in as if I was a part of their family. Yeah. This is absolutely beautiful. 15 years of hard work, this is. It's gorgeous. Their home was beautiful and Izzy was just the perfect host. It made me some tea, showed me the grounds. They have this super awesome mill in their, in their backyard that's got tons of history to it. We went down to a local bakery and just, it was the warmth and the hospitality of the community, but again, a place where I just felt like family. I had heard that Jason was a little bit of a drummer, has dabbled in percussion throughout his life, uh, even plays in a band. And so I was able to present Jason with a signature Yamaha snare drum. So it's all maple shells and it has a layer of wenge, so African wenge wood. Yeah. It just is the crispest, most beautiful sounding instrument in the world. An expression of gratitude for a man that really has done so much in the, in the realms of helping my dreams to become a reality. I had the opportunity then to go sit down. We just started to talk. For me, the, the motivation has always been about building the best helicopter in the world, building the helicopter that, that I want. We seem to be in a race to mediocrity mm -hmm. in so many areas of the developed world. Yes. The, I, I think just doing something really well, I think it'll serve as a real boost to people that just, just needed a reminder that yeah. you can do great stuff. And that's been the biggest revelation to me, that there are people out there that will support something just because they believe in it. It would not be possible unless the brave, forward-thinking people that recognized that this needed to be done yeah. were prepared to stand up behind me and say, yeah, I'll run that race with you. Yeah. Come on, let's go and have a go. Yeah. The saying, time flies when you're having fun, was 100% true in this conversation. 
He looked down at his watch and he goes, oh, I knew we were gonna go fly. I've got a meeting that I've gotta get to. Let's see if the weather's gonna hold out. We'll see if we can still make this work, but I've gotta go and get to the office so I can build your helicopter. Okay, you guys, I just got finished at Jason Hill's home. It was absolutely beautiful. They are some of the most genuine, authentic, um, and inspiring people that I have ever had the chance to meet. So Jason, Izzy, and the whole family, thank you, thank you, thank you for inviting us to your home. It was amazing. The weather is not looking the greatest. And we got back to the hotel. I'm looking out the window. I'm checking the weather app. It's just not looking good. And then all of a sudden, Jason texted. He said, the weather is pretty rubbish, but we can have a go at something really local. I'm heading home now. Let's go. Let's go. Driving like a kid on Christmas morning. And we pull up to his house again. Jason meets us in the driveway. We go walking out to the helicopter. My feet weren't even hitting the ground. I swear, I was floating on Club Nine. Yeah. Yeah. We sit in the helicopter, get buckled up, and he fires on that turbine engine, and the blades start spinning. It's one thing to meet Jason Hill, it's another thing to go flying with Jason Hill. In your life, you don't remember days, you remember moments. This was a moment that was truly legendary, something that I will never forget. Thank you, Jason. Oh, Thank you. Yes. <laughs> so awesome. I think I could just I could just die right now and call it good. Thank you for just going above and beyond and just being great people and our friends. So You're very welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Again, thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank yeah. you for, for your, your trust. Yeah, that's yeah, just the beginning. Good luck on this last stretch to, to December. We're rooting for you, cheering yeah, for you. Uh, it'll be okay. When you yeah. see him in December, I have even more grey hair. Yeah. <laughs> He'll come in on a walker. Yeah. <laughs> really broken. I'll be there from my hospital. Yes, yeah. So okay. A lot. Yeah. Send me your flight details so I can Yeah, I will. I will. All right. We just landed with Jason. This trip has been life changing. It was incredible. Uh, you know, flying with Jason Hill, um, the whole experience. He's the real deal. Hill is the real deal, and I'm just honored to to be on the journey. And this this journey is is unforgettable. So it was incredible. Now let's see if we can get on the right side of the road. As I took the long journey back home, I just had the opportunity to think about everything that happened, the experiences, the moments, and I think at the end of your life. All of us will be surrounded by two things. We'll be surrounded by the woulda, shouldas, and the couldas, or we'll be surrounded by the do it, did it, done it's. And as cliche as that may sound, uh, for me, I'm really grateful that I did this. I'm really grateful that I took a chance, and I stepped into the unknown, exercised the 20 seconds of insane courage, and through that process, what was a dream is slowly chipping away at becoming a reality. And that is fun, that is passion, that is excitement, that is hope. And I think we need to dream more while we're awake. And so I hope this video has inspired, hopefully, you to do the same thing. We are just getting started. I mean, what a ride it has been thus far. If you thought this video was great, wait until you see the next video. I am going to fly to England in December, where Jason and the entire Hill team will reveal the HX50 prototypes to the world. This will be a moment in aviation history that I promise you do not want to miss.